two cousins to Christ. They're not allowed to come to church. They're 9 and 11. And Julie has led her mother to Christ. She's not 11. And her mom was Buddhist. And at first she, she tried to stop Julie from, from coming to church. And she gave her life to Jesus yesterday. <laughs> And then um, I was talking on the phone about, I wanted to know what happened. So they were telling me, and then I said, well, did her mom get gold dust on her hands? And at first, no. But then when I asked, she had it, right? right. Hallelujah. And then while they were telling me this story, I had the phone on top of the, on the kitchen table. And right next to it, I had been working there all day on my uh, sermon. And, and there was uh, another gold flake right next to the telephone when you told me. <laughs> right away. Wow. Hallelujah. <laughs> it was a flake, not those little things that we're seeing. That's what you saw, the flake, right? And we're seeing more and more of those, and I'm putting them in a plastic bag at home. <laughs> um, well, but, but uh, Julie, uh, this, the God is working through you, and I believe you know, your whole family is coming to Christ one by one. Amen. And you know yes. you have an important mission. Yeah. Julie is also the Bible study leader in her house with ah, her cousin, Wynn. Praise God. Yes. yes. <laughs> And then Tommy and Tiffany, who are not allowed to come to the church anymore uh, because their parents won't let them, uh, she is the minister and the pastor who is ministering to them. You know, uh, when we be called pastors, it doesn't mean that we had to complete a PhD. When you have an anointing and people are growing and there's fruit in what you're doing, you're a minister. Amen. God anoints. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, could you uh, share just something, Jennifer, on, on witnessing? Because uh, we had some questions about how would I lead somebody to Jesus. Oh, let me pray for you. 